This video explains how to specify multiple split arguments within the strsplit function using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to create an example string, as you can see in line two of the code. So after running this line of code, a new character string object is appearing at the top right, which is called my string. And we can print this character string to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line three of the code. And then you can see that our string contains the letters A, B, C, and D, as well as the letters X and Y. Now let's assume that we want to split our character string based on only one splitting criteria. Then we can use the str split function as you can see in line five of the code. And within the str split function, we have to specify the name of our character string object. So in this case, this data object is called my string. And then we need to specify the splitting criterion. So in this case, we want to use the character X to split our character string. So after running line five of the code, you can see at the bottom that we have returned a splitted version of our character string. So in this case, our character string was converted into three elements. So the first element contains the letters AAA. The second element contains the letters BBBYCCC. And the third element contains the letters DDD. Now let's assume that we want to use multiple splitting criteria to split our character string. So in this case, we want to use the splitting criteria X and Y. Then we can use the code as you can see in line seven. So in this line of code, I'm specifying that I want to split our character string based on the character X. And then I'm using the OR operator. And then I'm specifying the second splitting criterion. So in this case, the character Y. So after running line seven of the code, another output is returned. And as you can see, this time we have used multiple splitting criteria or more precisely the characters X and Y. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.